Hey everybody, it's Joe Lynch from the Somerville Media Center Board of Directors and I'm here with Amanda Reichmuth from Respond Inc., one of our partners. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell the story so you don't get in trouble. Okay. Of, <laughs> we are so closely tied with Respond Inc. here in Union Square because none other than Jessica Braden herself serves on our Board of Directors. Yeah. But, you know, we're losing her by the end of June. I heard. Yeah. 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 But it's <laughs> but you're going to be here. Yeah. You're going to be here and staying with us. We're around. We're around. Amanda, so thank you so much for taking time out of a busy Sunday and a Certainly. beautiful Sunday to spend it in the yeah. studios. For a little bit for the viewing public, Respond Inc. Tell us a little bit about the history and what you guys do over there. Mm -hmm. So Respond is a domestic violence agency. We serve all survivors of domestic violence uh, in our shelter, in the community. And we have been around for over 40 years, second domestic violence agency in the country. Started out by just a few women in Somerville who saw that this was happening and felt like something needed to be done to help the, at that time, mostly women who they had identified who were being abused by their husbands. And that's the unique connection that we have mm -hmm. with Somerville is that it did start here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, started right here, um, four women from Somerville. And from the very beginning, we were, you know, pioneering. We serve um, women with children of all ages, including boys of all ages. And then we started serving men, including in our shelter, um, because domestic violence happens to one in three women and one in five men. And they all need that support to be safe. And you have to think that that was, you know, 40 years ago, that was kind of a hidden subject. Abuse within the, within the you know, the family unit was so hidden. And it, people were so ashamed of it. Absolutely. And that continues to be a problem or a barrier for people seeking help, is feeling ashamed or not knowing how friends or family are going to react if they tell them which is one of the reasons I love that we have our hotline, which is answered 24 hours a day, 617-623-5900. Um, and anyone can call. You can call for yourself. You can call if you're worried about a friend or a family member. And there's someone there who can talk to you about what's going on with you and what some resources are and make a plan with you if that's something that you want to do. Also, then they may be able to come in and meet with someone in person if they want. So it's a great way to get information and find out how to get more support if someone's ready for that or if they just want to talk. And I would think one of the most highly prized parts of that resource of responding is the confidentiality. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything is completely confidential. People don't even need to tell us their name when they call. If they want to, that's great. But if they don't, we can still provide that service and help them with whatever they're struggling with at that moment. And because of the nature of the business that you do over there, you, your uh, facilities are not publicized. That's correct. Right. Everything is confidential. Our office, um, though, of course, we have to tell people where it is when they want to come Once see us. Once they want to go we see you. We don't put yeah. a big banner on the right. front. And we've actually had um, survivors come and meet with us and tell other folks that they were coming for some other purpose, because it's a multi-use building. Mm -hmm. So say, oh, I'm going to this appointment. And so people don't ask further questions, and they right. can still get the help mm -hmm. that they need. Right. How many folks are you servicing kind of within the last year or so? Oh, goodness. I really should have that stat on the top of my head. In our shelter, we serve about 80 folks a year. Um, and in our community office, we serve about, we serve a few hundred per month people who come in. So right. I have those stats kind and of on it's my a head. Gr it's a huge workload though. I mean, because you're not this mega not-for-profit organization. You've got a staff of maybe 10, 15 people? About 15, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not a lot of people, but we're a mighty crew. Yep. Um, and like I said, we're there 24 hours a day. There's at least one person working all the time to answer the phone and be at the shelter. and help people in crisis. And uh, is responding uh, basically on the East Coast? I mean, yeah, I know you've kind of expanded over the years. We're still Massachusetts. I mean, people can call us on the hotline from anywhere. Right. But our and actual service And then you do the connectivity area. for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sometimes we, if they just want information or someone to talk to, then we can be that. 
but if they want someone to see in person, then we'll work on connecting them with someone in their area. It's terrific work, absolutely yeah. terrific work, and we love having you guys as a partner. Yeah, it's And awesome. I know you love having we us do. as a partner, too. We come I mean. in and interview with you, and you help us do things. Right, we just did a right. video for our gala that you helped us with, so That's you right. did a video for and our gala. And you guys, i got to tell you, <laughs> you did a spectacular job with that because you raised oodles of cash. We did, and people loved the video. I loved the video. I had heard about that client, but I hadn't actually even met her myself. So I met her through the video, just as did everyone at our gala. That's so great. It's an amazing partnership that That's we great. have. Yeah. Uh, is there, do you see a trend um, with the economy? Does there tend to be more um, family domestic violence when the economy is bad? Or is there no way to kind of track that? Um, I don't know. I do know, though, that it puts a stress on the shelter and on the services. So the demand for a service is similar, but the type of service people need is different because they can't easily afford to just move. Right. So right. with the lower economic, the folks with lower economic status or with the downturn in the economy, then there's more need for shelter or for um, subsidizing so that people can get away from the abuse. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to tell us about responding? Well, One of the most fabulous not for profits oh, in the thank city. Thank you. I would just say check us out on the web or um, give us a call if you think that you're concerned about yourself, you're concerned about a friend or a family member. Um, but check us out. Give us a call if you need help. Or if you're interested in volunteering or donating, check out our website. We're happy to talk to people about all those things. Terrific. Yeah. I didn't ask you, how long have you been with Respond? I've been there over two years. Two years yep. now. And I've been doing domestic violence work for like 10. Yeah. But yeah, it's been awesome being wow. at Respond. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And thanks for being a great Absolutely. partner. Absolutely. Thanks for interviewing us. Should we keep going? I think I think I'm getting a I guess. Mean, we probably keep should talking. keep going here. <laughs> Let's keep talking. I mean, I, you know, we're taking our, our our cues from a control room that may have forgotten about us back here. I don't How know. How could they forget about us? But you know, our telethon, the way that you folks have to do fundraising, mm -hmm. we're doing our fundraising today on a Sunday. But it's not going to be the end of it. Mm -hmm. You know that not-for-profits continually look for donations. Oh, so, absolutely. You know, we are, we're doing it for the first time. Um, we're running out of the main studio, this hot set studio, the Boston Free Radio studio, and we actually have a viewing party going on down at Aeronaut. Oh, how cool. I didn't Aeronaut know that. Brewery. And I don't know if they're watching yet, but kudos to Aeronaut. Thank you so much for supporting Somerville Media Center. I love Aeronaut. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love Aeronaut? <laughs> I mean, you got Erica Jones down there. We don't know what she's doing down at Aeronaut <laughs> right now. And then you got uh, Fallon O'Brien down there, and you got Jesse Moose, who's president mm -hmm. of the board. So they may not even be watching this. I mean, they, oh. they left about 15 minutes ago. I have no idea. Mm, yeah, they may not have made it yet. But if you are looking for something to do, because we're going to keep going until mm -hmm. 10 o'clock tonight, if you're looking something to grab a bite to eat or a couple of brews, go on down to Aeronaut, one of our partners in the telethon, grab a couple of brews, and don't forget to donate. Donate, donate, donate. For Respond Inc. and for Somerville <laughs> Media Center, two of the best non not for profits that you can support. Mm -hmm. So remember, go to somervillemedia.org or send us a check in any amount. Respond Inc.'s website again? It's um, www.respondinc.org, I believe. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. And, um, you know, in addition to our hotline, we work with people, we have support groups, people can come in and meet with us. We also have a, uh, we're expanding, as you mentioned, we have someone who's in Malden, Melrose and Wakefield Police Department, so yep. we can reach those service areas as well. And we're calling those survivors to offer services. So we're putting the ask to them, do you want help, as opposed to kind of waiting for people to call us on right, the hotline. Right, the outreach is so important yeah. when it comes to sensitive subjects like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, d I don't know how much time we have, but 20 seconds. Thank you, Heather <laughs> McCormick. I'm just going to keep calling out people's names. We've got Stuart Rolke, <laughs> who's keeping us on track here, Heather McCormick, Erica Jones, Adam Stone, everybody on the staff here at SMC. Thank you for what you're doing. Don't forget to donate to SMC or to Respond, Inc. Thanks for having us. It's been awesome being here. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you.